Good Saturday morning, Looney Tunes critic fans. Fans of the Looney Tunes critic. Not fans of this. No. That's a weird... Um, that's a weird kind of... What do you call it? Oh, there's no Mel Blanc, by the way, uh, in this uh, cartoon, except that there is. Isn't that weird? Did you guys know that? There is... There, there, Mel Blanc does actually um, um, have uh, some work here. Oh, Toots, you know perfectly well what I'm doing. But of course that's not Mel. That is the, the, the story man, Ted Pierce. No, not an early worm. When I get through with him, he'll be the late worm. <laughs> and the other, uh, the other character there, that's B. Benadaret. Now, Toots, don't bother me. But, Dad! <laughs> I'm warning you. Daddy! <laughs> My shepherd just crawled down that hole. <laughs> this cartoon is only available on a laser disc called uh, The Golden Age of Looney Tunes. Um, and that's actually the, the copy that we're looking at right now. Um, it's. Um, it's, I'm not surprised, actually, that we that we haven't seen this restored. Um, there seems to be some kind of weird, I don't know, disdain for the, uh, I don't know, I want to say the community, but the Looney Tunes community or fan base, but there seems to be a, a lack of interest in this kind of mid-40s Chuck Jones one, one-off cartoon because there were a lot of uh you know attempts to do new characters you know in chuck's unit as he was calling unit a at the time um and uh i don't know i don't know if it's a it may you know there's there's a lot of there's a lot of reasons why a certain cartoon doesn't have a restoration and in fact the other truth of the matter is uh just because you don't know of a restoration existing doesn't mean it hasn't been restored restored um but that's that's as maybe um uh, mel does mel blank does do a few things oh and i mean you know what i think i'm wrong about that actually i think that's sarah burner i don't think that's b benedict actually i think b did something else in this cartoon i don't know I have to be completely honest. <clears throat> I uh, I requested I requested they get me this cartoon, uh, thinking it was crackpot quail, <laughs> uh, and and Quentin Quail, this character, is technically the same quail that it appears in in crackpot in crackpot quail, but. Uh, you know, he's, he's less of a, he's less of a Bugs Bunny character in, in this one. Um, you know, he's, uh, he's kind of hapless actually. Now that he's like a fatherly in this one. Um, and you know, and also Mel did the original crackpot quail voice, whereas he's done by, by Ted Pierce here. And again, look, look how cute that, that, that worm design is you know it's obviously a worm but it's specific to that character it's not a generic worm wouldn't you like wouldn't you like to see more car cartoons with this worm i would <laughs> um by the way um to to uh to, to people that say that uh, chuck jones does uh, all of his own layouts that's true to a point it became more true uh in the late 40s and you know and on into his career but actually in this cartoon and, and some of them around the same time his background guy uh robert grib i've never been able to say his name right gribbroic gribbroic robert gribbroic um did a lot of the did did a lot of the character layouts and and did did them as a good character layout artist should in the style of the director but um, and he obviously took a lot of drawings from Chuck but I think the actual laying out you know the taking of the poses and putting them in place and all this stuff 
um, was uh, the duties of that were were also <clears throat> excuse me were also on uh, Mr. Mr. Robert, whose last name is so much fun to say that I'm going to take a drink and kill myself. But um, <clears throat> I like I say the Sarah Burner character there. I I'm pretty sure that that's um. I'm pretty sure that that's a nod to Fanny uh, Fanny Bryce's radio character, um, Baby Snooks. I could be wrong about that though, because um, uh, I I couldn't I couldn't find anything in in my uh, my I have a bunch of uh, old radio archives and a hard drive, and I couldn't find anything of the. I mean, I have one or two of the Fanny Bryce. Uh, things, but uh, the baby snooks, but um, it's suggested by Looney Wiki, but I, I don't necessarily know that that's a direct thing that Toots is doing. You know, baby Toots, the character here. I don't necessarily know for sure that Sarah Burner is doing uh, baby snooks, even though the name baby Toots and baby snooks. I don't know anymore. I don't know. Okay. Nobody requested this cartoon. I did. I decided to watch this cartoon. And do you know why? Because Frankie Sinatra is so gorgeous. Oh, Frankie. <laughs> All right, guys. See you next week. <laughs>